It's Greg Powers with Dave Campbell's Texas Football. And like uh, every week, I'm joined by one of the top in-state talents, Texas high school football's um, Jeremy Payne, Fort Bend Hightower. Um, well, man, thanks for joining us this week. You're welcome. Uh, a lot of people are starting to become, you know, no Jeremy Payne in the Fort Bend area. So, I mean, what's it been like? Um, as you started to get recruiting attention and now you're heading into, you know, a big junior season here coming up. It's been, it been fun, you know, getting getting calls, coaches and talking, you know, learning new stuff every time you talk to coaches and getting to get to see the facilities and stuff. You've already become an established commodity on the field. I think I have you down for rushing for over 1,400 yards last season, already got, you know, first team all district honors as a sophomore so um a big i think milestone in every running back's career is to cross that thousand yard mm -hmm. threshold you know what was it like being able to go for over a thousand yards and what did it mean to you to like go from really flipping over that one from 999 to a thousand that has to be like a monument that everybody looks forward to when they're running you know running the rock man i've been like i was um I was talking to my old line and it was like, you got to hit it or so we could, uh, you know, like a barbecue party. So I was <laughs> running, you know, getting every place. And yeah. And I hit it in the playoffs. So we tried to do it like before the playoffs started, but yeah. yeah well, you, you rushed for over 400 more after that one. So it must've mm -hmm. been a pretty good playoff run too. But I know there's, was a lot of young talent in the program, yourself included. Um, won't you just kind of talk about the future there at Hightower? What was spring football kind of like for you guys? And um, how's the 2022 season kind of stacking up? You know, is, is this going to be a pretty good team? I think so. Like, our DBs and our receivers, because we in the 707, we just won the championship. So, like, they got to go to play in college, in college station. So, I think our DBs would be good this year in, in uh, uh, our receivers. Even though we losing a lot, wide receivers this year, we get in new recruits. Seven on seven, man. Um, you probably look forward to that. I, I watched your tape. You, you, you're pretty involved in the passing game already. I mean, is that something that you look at as one of your strengths of being able to be like a more uh, well-rounded type of player? Yes, sir. I look at that like all the time. They, I, I play wide right receiver in, in camps too. Like I go to play wide right receiver in camps when I go to camps too. Instead of just running back. Um, a lot of colleges already extending your offers, wanting you to come play for their for their team. I mean, I've lost track of how many it is up to this point, but what's it really like to um, ha have an opportunity to play college football and, and have some of these top programs start to uh, extend offers to you, start to dream about playing for, you know, this college or that college. Now that's like a real dream come true. So they, they um, my teammates were asking like, how do you do? And I'm like, gotta work, gotta work. Just bless action. Who were some of those, what were some of those big moments so far early in the recruiting process to you as you kind of recall back, um, maybe some life-changing moments whenever a school stepped to the plate for you? What were some of the schools that offered and um, where, like maybe give us a point in time, like where you're at a story about maybe getting an offer that was pretty cool. So it was my first offer, like, before it was, we played a Manville in the playoffs. I had a big game that day. So the next day in the morning, like early in the morning, my recruiting coach called me, like my running back coach, and he was like, I got good news and the bad news. And he asked me which uh, news on. I was like, the bad news. Like Everybody wants the bad news first. He was like, ah, oh, there's no good news, but you got an offer from TSU. And I was like, Wow. So I got up to him, go to my parents' room, and tell them they were all happy. That's yeah. awesome. It wasn't too much longer, man, before everybody kind of started to come and call, call them for you, especially in state. You know, I think that's a big thing to note when looking at your offer list. You had a lot of the bigger schools from in state. That means the people who know about Texas high school football know a little something about you. Um, but it's starting to come in from all over the country now, too. So you're getting offers from far, far away as Utah and Boston College on your list. So have you started to think about maybe wanting to take a look at some schools that are farther away from home? It um, started, started with Oklahoma. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a big offer. I mean, um, look at the rest of your list. What did it mean to you to get maybe an offer from Oklahoma, maybe an offer from Texas A&M? What, when some of those schools started coming for you, what was that like? I mean, Baylor came in state too, you know, so you had a pretty good run there where like it seemed like every day um, somebody from the state of Texas was stepping up to the plate with an offer or a big school was stepping up to the plate with an offer. I was like, I was actually surprised. Like, offers and offers, like every day, it's um, giving calls. My coach telling me, hey, uh, hit this coach up every day. I call him up, and I'm just, you know, end up just hitting the bomb, dropping the bomb. And I was like, wow. It, any more offers you're still hungry for? Any schools out there that you maybe dreamed of, dreamed about playing for that you would hope give you an opportunity or a chance to play at their school? Um, This is one of like a college that won me, like you know, like, but, but um, Alabama being, I'm looking at Alabama. Uh, when it comes down to you know, looking at a college, is it too early when you're you know just getting ready to be a junior? Is it a, like too early uh, to really start to think about that stuff really seriously? Or so. now that you have these opportunities, do you? take a even you know like really zone in on some of these schools and try to figure out what might be a good fit for you do you start to think about it even earlier mm, not really just just looking at just preparing for the past like for the future actually just thinking who, who's going to be like by my side you know like it's going to be there for me that's what I'm looking for you know Talk about your coaches there at Hightower. I know they do a really good job in the recruiting process um, as well. They help you guys out. Why don't you just kind of speak on what it's like for them to to help you through this process? Well, Coach Scott, like my running back coach, he's been a big help. Like he's one of the coaches that really so excited. He's really like – one of those that be pushing like coaches, you know, sending my film out. And really he been like well, every step, like every offer he's been there for me. So who's who's that one guy in maybe college or the NFL that you look up to or think that maybe your game patterns that your game patterns like and why? Hmm. I say running back was Laid me on bail. Nice. Laid me on bail. But I really think I ran like Marsha Falk. Like one of those days. And Man, um, you dipping you dipping down into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I always, I always watch his uh, film, you know, all his highlights. I think that's a good pick, you know, too, because he's very versatile and he's a lot of fun to watch especially when he played for the Colts, you know, so that was a, that was a good running back to uh, look up to, I think. So Greg Powers with Jeremy Payne, thanks for the time, man, and uh, good luck as you go through this process and um, step on that field out there for the 2022 season. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.